LEP or open reflector for distance? It's not an easy question to answer, so let's get into how you can make the right decision for you. Hi guys, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop, and today we're talking distance lights, specifically LEPs versus open reflectors, and what might be best suited for your needs. Going to do our best to answer as many questions as we can, so let's get straight into it. We get asked all the time, what's going to be the best light for distance? I just want the longest light, I want the longest throw. And it's such a hard question to answer because you've really got to dive into what that person is going to use it for. I can suggest a torch that's going to shine 2.5K, but not might not be suited to your needs. So that's why I thought we'd dive into sort of comparison between open reflectors and LEPs and what might be best suited for your needs and what's going to be the best uses for an open reflector or the best uses for uh, an LEP. Now, what is an LEP? An LEP is a light emitting phosphor. So instead of an LED chip, it's got an LEP in there. They are incredibly uh, focused in the, um, the light coming out of them goes so far. Um, yeah, they are ridiculous. They don't have them in any sort of floodlights at the moment. Um, it is all in distance lights. Uh, they're able to just focus that light in. And yeah, there is just very, very to little to no spill out of an LEP. And they don't have to output a lot of lumen output to get a huge amount of distance from them. So if you take this Jetbeam RRT M1X that I've sort of taken out, it's only emitting 480 lumens, but it is rated at 2.3 kilometers, just purely because of that candela in the middle, it's able to focus it in incredibly tightly. And yeah, it throws out a long way. If you just have a look of how tight that beam is, and at a distance, there is just no spill. Yeah, they truly are incredible. And yeah, definitely worth considering if you're after a really long distance light. Now, Talking about open reflectors, they are pretty much exactly as the name um, depicts. They've just got a single LED uh, and a big open reflector, so not focusable, um, not magnified at all. Uh, it is all taking in uh, that big reflector in here, focusing, using all part of it, focusing that light in um, from that chip and yeah, trying to bring it in as close as it can uh, to give you as long distance as possible. As you can see, they come in all different sizes. Usually, uh, the, the bigger the reflector, sort of the longer distance you're going to get because it's got more time to sort of focus that light in to a finer beam. Um, and yeah, so this K75 does a great job at really focusing that in. Rated at 6,300 lumen output and 2.5 kilometers. Uh, you'll notice with throw lights, uh, with open reflectors, it's not about the lumen output. So the lumen output is pretty much irrelevant. It's all about the reflector and how much distance that will get. Um, you, you'll find if they chuck, if they put in a too big a chip uh, that's going to be outputting too many lumens, the light m probably going to get distorted. So they really match the chip with the reflector, giving you the longest possible throw with the best possible output at that distance. So definitely worth looking at uh, for distance lights. They, yeah, they really do a great job at throwing that light out. Now choosing the distance light for you um, is really, really about what you wanna use it for. Uh, choosing in between a big open reflector or an LEP or sort of a medium open reflector really depends on what you want to do with it, what you want the torch to do with it, what you want to see uh, when you're walking around or what you're actually going to use it for. Big open reflectors are fantastic at lighting up a large area at an incredibly long distance. These, uh, these big K75s or big open reflector torches, they're going to do a great job um, at lighting up, say, a big cliff face out at uh, sort of a thousand meters away or a massive open paddock uh, and then viewing a large tree line further on. Um, so if that's something that you want a torch to do, light up a large space at a distance, at a long distance, um, a large open reflector is definitely one to consider. A medium open reflector, sort of something like this, like the XT32 Claris torch that I've got here or your normal hunting lights, they design this way because they want them to be super compact but also have a really nice distance output from them. So if you're wanting to walk around 
in and out of bush but then also when you come out to a clearing you want to light up a long distance an open reflector like this is definitely one to consider because it does have a peripheral view so you can walk around with it very comfortably and see where you're walking and then when you're out of distance it um it yeah fires out that candela in the middle a long way uh they're very purposely designed this way because they want them to make them as compact as they can with also offering as much distance as they can. So you're able, able to mount that to yeah, sort of your rifle or to anywhere very, very easily. Moving along to an LEP. Now, why are you going to choose an LEP over an open reflector? Well, if you're wanting to see a very long way, but you know pretty much where you want to see, or you just want to light up a very um, specific area with no spill at an incredibly long distance away, yeah, an LEP is going to be one for you. Uh, it's fantastic. It really slowly looking out like um, a tree line or a cliff base or something like that because you can just scan an area and it just lights up that area so well that, yeah, it, you can just see everything in that little area, take it all in and then just keep moving it along. Whereas an open reflector might be too washed out for you. But these do a great job. But yeah, if you want to be more specific, have a spotting scope out there or really... Um, tight, long, pretty much laser focused beam uh, and LEP is definitely going to be the one for you. So you pretty much just got to decide how you want to use the light and what you want the light to do because I would not recommend an LEP to someone that is out there sort of search and rescue or wanting to light up a very long distance but also have a, like a nice scanning view. I would, yeah, wouldn't recommend an LEP but uh, an open reflector is going to be the pick for you. So yeah, just ask yourself what you're going to use it for and um, yeah, pick the right light. So that's it for today's video. Uh, thanks for watching. Drop a link to all these products uh, plus some alternative large open reflectors. Got a whole LEP range to check out. So it's definitely worth a look. Feel free to drop us a comment if you've got any uh, questions or queries. Uh, we'll do our best to answer everything. But yeah, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe. It really helps us grow the channel. And uh, thanks for watching this one and we'll catch you on the next one.